Hey guys, Ratchet Reviews here again with another Transformers Dark of the Moon Voyager Mech Tech video review, and this time I will be reviewing Ironhide. Now, honestly, this is probably the best Ironhide toy I've seen other than the leader class, but I'm kind of one for the scale, too. And I've got the hiccups now. Um, it is awesome. I'm finally glad they decided to do a new mold of Ironhide. And here's his mech tech weapon, which is this little doofy gun thing that if you push back here, it spins around like that. And that's, that's about it. That's all it does. And you can plug it in up there or on the sides, but really, this is, that's all it does. And if you have it pushed in all the way and rotate this back thing, it stays out. That's really... Hasbro, this is your selling point of these toys, and this is what you're going to go with on the first wave of Voyagers. So, here is Ironhide in his GMC Top Kick mode, which looks really fantastic. Other than the fact that, once again, he's got no def definite bed. He's just got this little flat piece right here. So... Nothing really much else to say about him. He does got the smokestacks, which aren't scalpeled down to the side to be flush with here. And actually feature a spot for clip joints, I think. Yep, clip joints. So, that's his truck mode. There's not really much to this thing. It's just a truck. It rolls. Like a truck. And uh, the tailgate doesn't just kind of float. Yeah, that's for the transformation, which we'll start on now. So, first thing you want to actually do is get these door panels, or these entire panels right here, moved out of the way. Just opened up, folded down, out of the way, like that. And then you take the tailgate and fold it up on both sides and then fold his foot down fold that piece up do the same over here which now I'm, I've noticed this but you might not be able to because of my camera but I've got like water spots of something on here these pieces are two different colors of black plastic and yeah you can actually notice that See, it goes the same over on this side. They're two completely different pieces. They're slightly darker shades. Or this one's slightly darker shaded than that one. So, weird. Why would they do that? So then pull this piece down, fold his legs out, and rotate them around. It doesn't matter which way you do it. It's just sometimes easier to go that way. So now we got his legs extended out, and then take these, the rest of these panels and go back over to these panels and fold them around and clip them on right there. So, it's, so it goes like this. There's the whole panel, and it all folds around like that, and the wheel stays on the back. And then you want to fold this out of the way, take the bumper, and split it apart, and fold the arms forward and then take the bumper piece and rotate it around clip it in right there do the same over here and then push the front of the actually let's do this get this you want to get this piece and his head all out of the way. And then you push this in and down. Again, getting everything out of its way so you can. So then, there we have it. And then straighten out his, lay, his arms. 
fold these wheels in and then take these panels oh shit you can't see again and then fold these panels in like that and then down like that and then you can just position them however which way you want just whatever looks good to you and then there we have Ironhide in his robot mode now I don't the only thing I don't like other than the fact that mine won't clip in on the front of his truck for his robot mode other than I don't like about him than that is his arms that just looks so pathetically weird like I don't know how to position him other than that and it that still just looks really really bad because he's got this massive bulk right here behind his arm which is also right there it's just this nasty really sharp pointy elbow is what that is and his gun he can hold in his he can hold in his hand like that or it could go underneath there's a post right there and it goes in like that so hold it like that and now we're not gonna deal with that and uh, with the other Voyager like a lot of the other Voyagers small so here he is with Megatron well Megatron's thin and he's got small proportions but this Ironhide's actually well proportioned and actually looks right I mean, even on, just on his own, he looks really big. And really, just, he does look really big on his own. That's just, that's what makes it look so good on him, is the fact that he does. <laughs> and I honestly got him because I thought maybe he would look good beside uh, Ratchet from the Voyager Ratchet from the last two movies. He doesn't. Ratchet still stands like about up to here. So Ratchet's got like an extra head taller than him. And Ironhide's supposed to be the big beefy guy. See, yeah, there's, there's Ironhide. I do like Ironhide. I really do on this one. It's so impressive how they managed to get this to work the way they did. And make it look so right except for his arms. I mean... Yeah, the mech tech weapon, because even though it is the selling point for the Transformers for this job, for this movie, his is just this... I, wanna, I just want to throw it. That's how much I hate that mech tech weapon. So... Darker the Moon, Ironhide, and this is Retro Reviews. I will see you guys next time.